Usually, Huntington's disease appears during adulthood. When the affected person is under 20 years old, it is the juvenile form of the disease. This form is rare and touches less than 10% of all affected individuals. Almost all affected children have an initial normal development, but they eventually lose skills they already acquired, such as speaking, reading, and playing sports. The symptoms of the juvenile form are different from those of the adult form. The earlier the disease begins, the higher the child's risk of developing rigidity rather than chorea and involuntary movements. Chorea may be present when the disease begins slightly later on, between 15 and 18 years of age. 25 to 30 percent of children affected with the juvenile form suffer from seizures. Physically, we notice slowness and stiffness, especially in the legs. Problems with walking and frequent falling, clumsiness, and difficulty speaking. Behavior and personality changes are also seen, including anger, screaming, and impulsivity. The child may be disorganized, distracted, or may develop depression, anxiety, or irritability. Intellectual capacity is affected, and we notice a slowness to respond and react, difficulties learning new information, and a decrease in attention and concentration. It can be very difficult to diagnose juvenile Huntington's disease. Several symptoms are similar to other diseases, and these possibilities must first be eliminated before considering a diagnosis of Huntington's disease. A neurologist specialized in movement disorders will be more familiar with the disease. It is suggested that the neurologist assess the child twice with an interval of 6 to 12 months between each assessment. This will allow the doctor to confirm that the symptoms are progressive. The disease can then be confirmed with a genetic test. For further details about juvenile Huntington's disease, you can contact the Huntington Society.